Hi guys, Versus Education here with episode 6 of the CryEngine 3 SDK Beginner Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over detailing your terrain. So, in the last video, we showed you uh, a basic introduction to the, uh, to the terrain editor. We showed you what some of the different tools do. And most important, we created our own level and we made this very basic terrain that we have here. And in this episode, I just really want to dedicate it to just uh, spending a bit of time on this terrain, detailing a bit and uh, using some of the knowledge that you have already to a little bit of a, a practical uh, use. So having said that, we're going to be adjusting our terrain, we're going to make it more realistic, we're going to start um, carving out some paths and so on and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this river here completely. Now one thing I do want to mention whenever you're detailing your terrain is that I don't advise using the terrain and stuff from here. If you really want to get up close and personal and be uh, really quick about things, I advise that you just do things from the terrain tab in the roll up bar. So I'm just going to quickly flatten out my terrain, uh, oops, yeah I'm just going to quickly flatten out my terrain here and uh, I'm just going to quickly reiterate uh, you know some of these repetitions that I've been doing, you know I'm just going to be making out the uh, the river, I'm going to start making some paths and so on and so forth. Now keep in mind you don't necessarily have to follow exactly what I've been doing, just do what you really want to be doing. So. Having said that, I've got a brief idea of what I want to do with my level now. So, first and foremost, I'm going to be getting a nice lovely river that goes, uh, that falls down from the mountains and uh, through our gameplay area. And I'm also going to have a little bit of a lake in the very center. So, let's just go ahead and uh, pick a height really to choose what the height of our river is going to be. So, once I've done that, I can simply make my river by flattening at that height. You know, that's just one use of the uh, pick height and flatten tool that you can do. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily look very smooth here in terms of uh, the terrain. We're going to be smoothing this out to make our river banks look a little more realistic. You know how erosion works and so on. But anyway, I've just made a very quick river here. Uh, it's a very effective technique that you can use. So now let's get into actually smoothing out the river banks. Whenever you're gonna making, whenever you're gonna be making rivers or seashores or anything like that, really, you're definitely gonna have um, smoothing because of the way a river uh, um, erodes things and makes it really smooth. Uh, I'm gonna go onto Google quickly and give you a quick example of that. So here we go, if you go ahead and go to Google Images, look at a riverbank, you can see it's relatively smooth, it sort of slopes and slides down straight into it, rather than it being a relatively harsh uh, curve, so you know, that's something we're going to definitely have to use a smooth tool for. So if you want to do that, all you got to do is just go over to the smooth tool, get a relatively small brush, nothing too big, otherwise it's going to start pulling in the entire terrain. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick example of that. So you can see I've got a gigantic brush here. You can see the whole terrain here goes down. We don't really want that. Um, instead, we just want a small, uh, relatively quick and easy slope down. So uh, with a river of this size, I'd say about this sort of radius is good. Now, we don't want to go too small simply because uh, we don't want to be here forever. If you see anywhere where the slope is a little too high, something like this, you might have to spend a little bit of extra time just smoothing it out to make that uh, transition from ground to the river a little more gradual. So, you know what, uh, after having done all this bit here, I'm not necessarily going to spend too much time on it, as I do want to get into a few other things. So, now I'm going to start making myself like a little bit of a, a lake or something like that. So I can actually just make that using the same tool that I did before. You know, just make myself a nice little circle here. And I'm just going to make sure that I do smoothen out the edges because in a lake things go exactly the same way. Anyway, now we've got that, it's pretty simple. We can go ahead and test this, press Control G, and hopefully this should be relatively 
realistic. And also one thing you do want to note whenever you are detailing your terrain is that you're going to want to quickly go into the, into the game numerous times every time you make a change just to make sure that the scale is right. I was relatively lucky this time when making it. As you can see the slopes aren't, aren't too high for the character so just make sure you do get them about right. Sometimes from the viewport because of your position you can't exactly test out or view uh, to make sure the scale is going to be perfect, but for now this should be great. So you know, that's just one thing you might want to take in mind. Now uh, I'm going to start uh, make carving out some paths and stuff like that. So I'm going to be starting over here. Uh, so I'm going to make a little lowered down indented uh, area where uh, you know people have been walking on and so on. It's going to be down because you know. Uh, friction takes away material, kicks it off to the side. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this. So what I'm going to do here to start off with is I'm going to raise the terrain a little bit. I'm going to get about the right height, um, you know, get it low down. Uh, a bit more than this, I think. Um, and remember, to make the terrain lower, you can just use the raise and lower tool and press control and then click to lower that. Once we've got the right height, we can just do that. We can just pick the height and then just pull the whole thing down. So if I go ahead here and I press Control G, you can see we've got this nice, lovely indented area. And you know, this is the sort of thing you're going to do for play areas. You're going to want it to be relatively flat, whereas areas that you're not necessarily going to be accessing much or just just there for visual fidelity, you know, you're going to have a little more rough, a little more realistic. But in terms of play areas, you generally want them to be. Uh, flat now keep in mind you can't actually see this very well at the moment simply because it's all the same white material when we do go in, do go into painting our terrain over the next few videos you know you can uh you you can make you can differentiate the the uh the grass over here that we might have to the mud or just the playing areas you know just so you know uh just so the players know where to go the different terrain types you know because most people don't like to run on grass they go through the mud where people have walked before and uh stuff like that so if i'm just going to quit so from my play area here i'm just going to path uh, i'm just going to carve out some paths now keep in mind we do actually have a path tool inside a cry engine which we'll be using uh, to place the material on top of the created path. So when I'm actually making an indentation for the path here, one thing I do want to keep in mind is that I don't want it to be too big simply because uh, it's going to look unnatural and we also don't want it to be too small otherwise players won't be able to walk down it, vehicles won't be able to go down it and stuff like that. So I'm just going to play around with this here quickly and uh, try and get the right scale. As I said previously, you know, you're definitely going to be wanting to uh, pop in and out of the game just to make sure the scale is right. Uh, heck, you can even put in some kind of entity uh, to use as a reference to scale. So, for example, if I go ahead and grab a an Abrams tank uh, when it loads in, you know, I can see that this is essentially a sort of width that I need of uh, the road. So I'm just going to keep that here now for testing purposes and I'm going to start path and start and continue to uh, path out my terrain that I have. So I'm definitely going to need to make this a little bit bigger I think. So I <laughs> excuse the message, I'm going to black that out in After Effects. If I don't it's not my fault. So yeah this is really hard pathing this out simply because I can't see it and uh, you're going to see the real change in uh, the real change when I start painting this terrain on, you know, I'm just going to be following along it and uh, stuff like that. So I'm just continuing to make up half here. You know, uh, while I'm doing this, I definitely advise that you do the same for your level. You know, whatever it is that you decided to create. And uh, yeah, and you can see we've got some of the old uh, remains of the old river. We can sort that out. Anyway, so this is just pretty much all I wanted to do in this video. I just really want you to dedicate. Uh, some time into sculpting out your terrain a little more in detail. I've shown you a few techniques, for example, uh, creating your rivers using the flatten tool, smoothing it out to make it a little more natural. Uh, I've also gone over how um, play areas are going to be relatively flat and how you need to scale them for different objects, players, so on and so forth. Um, you know, where and uh, terrain areas that you're not necessarily going to be accessing is going to be slightly bumpier. 
um, something I can do to show you this is, uh, you know, use the inverse of the smooth tool. You know, just play around with it, see what you can do. We're really going to be bringing it to life over the next few videos where we uh, start painting the terrain and so on. And those videos will also be adapt adapting the terrain to, uh, you know, those materials. Anyway, so uh, keep in mind, uh, we are going to be touching this up further. Make sure that you do progress your stuff uh, a little bit more. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.